Good morning, everyone. I invite the children to come and join me for a young person's message this morning. Hope you will gather around and you'll also notice the um, things that I have brought before and around the Christmas tree this morning. This is the season of Advent and we started talking about it last Sunday. And Advent is the season of preparing, getting ready, preparation. And what are we preparing for? We're preparing to receive a newborn baby, a child and name Jesus, as we understand, and celebrate at Christmas time. So anytime there's a new baby that's coming into the family, there's a lot of preparation that has to take place. And one of the things that happens is you start buying a whole lot of things, uh, like this swings for the baby to feel comfort uh, and probably go to sleep in when they get a little bit older and they're starting to learn how to walk and move all over the place. Um, I think my children both absolutely love this. It's sort of feels like you have complete freedom. And of course, um, diapers, these are the not so environmentally friendly ones and um, some toys for them to play with um, and a little bit older um, just to keep babies and toddlers occupied. And this that I have around me are just a very few items because you think about having bottles and clothes and a place to sleep and the list goes on and on when you start preparing for a baby coming into the family. I wonder if you could ask your parents to tell you the story of their preparation of when you came into the family and came into their lives and what that was like for them. And were you planned? Were you a surprise to them that you were coming? And what did they do to prepare? Where were you living at the time? What was your room like? Maybe you could um, ask them to get out some photos from when you were a baby and have a look. What I know about babies and preparing for them coming into the world is that life is never going to be the same again. It's going to be different and new and fresh because this baby is going to bring something new into the world. And you brought something new into the world when you were born. Each one of us does because God gifts us so differently and so uniquely. And I would also encourage you to ask your parents what was different when you came into the world and for them to also think about who you are now and your personality and what you have brought to your family as the person that you are. So in preparation, in our hearts and minds, getting ready for Jesus to come into the world, we know that Jesus too is going to change us and change our world as we prepare for Jesus. And that's part of the reason we light the Advent wreath, that it reminds us of peace and hope and joy and love and light that this baby is going to bring to us and bring to the world. Jesus is going to change us. His presence is probably going to also remind us of the ways in which we live in the world and the messages that we give to the world. And this week, that message from that baby that we are preparing to receive the message is about being people who bring comfort and compassion. Compassion is, is a way to intentionally, to really try our best and our hardest to love everybody. And comfort is another way of just saying that we're there for people when they have a need or maybe they're not having their best day or they just need someone to be next to them when they're really sad. So I hope you'll find the, this week to learn more ways to express love, compassion, and to comfort those who need it. And that you'll ask your parents about how you changed their life and their family when you came into the world. So get ready, get prepared the same way we do for a baby coming into our family for the Christ child is going to be born soon. Thank you so much for joining me today and gathering around. And I can't wait to hear your stories of 
what it meant for you to enter your family and what you bring to the world.